Welcome to our crib! Come in! Hi, this is Diana from the Lane. I'm Ronald. And we're here in our little crib. We're on tour. Uh, we're touring uh, in North America right now, promoting our new album, Dark Waters. We're on tour with Vision of Atlantis, and we're having so much fun. We are, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Welcome to our bandwagon. This is where we spend our days, actually. When we're not playing, and we're not sound checking or meeting the people we like to meet, we're right here. So, the great thing about a bandwagon, like we have all this entertainment stuff going on. We have a big ass TV in there. We got all these remotes and, and like a, a, an amplifier and, and a DVD player. And the great thing about this, uh, we didn't use any, any at all, because we're all on our, on our, on our phones all the time, right? Yeah. yeah, maybe you guys wonder that how do you entertain yourselves on tour? Good question. Okay. Yeah. Ball. Yeah, we're playing ball all the day. Yes. That's true. Well, uh, actually our lighting engineer is a big fan of, of refrigerator magnets and he gets a new one every city we go. So as you can see, this is one for today, Chicago, the windy city. He got one in Canada, in Toronto. He got one in Montreal, Virginia. Which one's this? Which city was this? I don't know. Uh, and it was a day off. New York. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a day off. That's true, yeah. New York, Jersey Shore, I don't know. So he, he <laughs> whenever he gets the chance, he gets one. And he Philly's on the fridge as well. Philly's on there, awesome. So he, that, that's what he does. All right, so as you can see, our fridge is mostly um, filled with drinks. Once in a while, you'll see something green in there, which is probably mine, because I try to eat healthy while I'm on tour to you know keep my body in shape and not get sick. There's a big distinction between people who like to eat healthy and people who basically don't. Uh, Diana is like the, the most healthy person in, yeah. in our band. I'm the only one, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, sometimes I eat vegetables, and uh, not a lot. And yeah, we all have our each, uh, we all have our own drinks. Like some of us like uh, normal Coke, some of them like Coke without sugar. So we have all that here. We have apple juice, which I like to drink once in a while. And for the rest, I just stick with good old water, which is always good for my voice to keep it hydrated. That's pretty much it. What's this? Oh yeah, vanilla caramel. Is that no, yours? No, hell no. I don't so know what that is. <laughs> I have never opened Oh yeah, oh, pizza! Yeah. We got pizza! That's so actually mine, but I forgot about it. <laughs> so thank you for this. Now and, I know I, where it is. And uh, pizza rolls. Everything's pizza. Italian. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get when you have an Italian singer. <laughs> so actually, when we, were, when we played in Toronto, um, a fan gave us Romanian wine. They were from Romania and they knew I was born there so they brought us gifts and also chocolate but we ate it so I can't really show it to you now and that was so sweet this is straight from Romania <laughs> it's always nice to get gifts from my country yeah so this is the general living space where you know when we wake up we kind of hang out here before the bus stops and then we stop usually at Walmart to get our groceries and stuff like that and we have our schedule here which is um not updated <laughs> this is actually a schedule from our uh, one of our days off and it's pretty um funny <laughs> yeah, i don't, I don't the, like this part i don't here. like one o'clock at all this part here ronaldo is him ronald yeah, make sure well, i in... call him ronaldo because it's more fun <laughs> i make sure i'm in bed at like 10 to 1. and then we have these cute little drawings, but mine's missing. I don't know why. You know who made them? The son of Martin. And Martin is over there. Yeah, he wanted to make really silly faces out of all of us. I, I think you got yours. You, you yeah, already, I probably uh, left it in the Netherlands. Yeah, so you know, have a little bit of your kids when you're on tour. You know, you miss your kids, and you have a little bit of your kids with you on tour. Yeah, so whenever you're on tour, you know, you have your private stuff always with you and it's good to have your own like little space where you can store those private things and uh, so each of us have, has their own place, like their own cabinet and yeah, well, 
I'm not I'm actually gonna show this one because I don't know whose is it, but this one's mine. So if you open this drawer, this is my personal drawer, and it's basically all guitar strings. That's that's the only thing that's private. I don't have anything more private on me. Actually, there, there, there used to be these in there, but everybody ate them. So yeah, this is my, my guilty pleasure. I love this stuff. So. so yeah, this is my private drawer with a lot of junk in it. But uh, I got some uh, really healthy dry food in here just for emergency cases. You know, if you don't have time to go to a restaurant, a shirt. So I've got, um, I've got another private space here. Right. I have some, well, cocoa pebbles, very, very metal, you know. But uh, also, for example, for my son, I, I bought some things, you know, uh, like he loves Marvel stuff. And, uh, well, you know, more Marvel stuff, Marvel underwear. So, uh, yeah, that's what my you, private stuff. What do you keep in here? Um, my makeup. All right. Totally. So, uh, awesome. I don't even know the code, actually, but uh, I have no clue what's in there. Hi, I'm Sander, drummer for the lane. I will show you my drawer right now. And it's actually here. Um, I got some tools because if something is not working properly, uh, then, then I am uh, the guy who to, who to fix it. This is very handy for drying clothes and stuff, but yeah, and you never know. I actually have more in the dressing room. But spare drumsticks. Yeah, yesterday I broke three day before too, so it's good to have spares. And this time I brought my uh, laptop with me and I never used it actually. So it's the uh, first time I get it out and we're halfway the tour. So maybe I should do more stuff with this. But uh, yeah, this is my drawer for the ball. Oh, it's over there. When it's getting soft, you know, I have to fix it. It's actually supposed to be in there. Um, quite handy, right? my drawer yeah I have my little space as well it's actually empty right now because I usually keep my makeup in here and uh, it's I put it all in, in the dressing room right now so I only have these pair of jeans and a cute little t-shirt Hellfire Club Stranger Things I'm a huge fan and yeah I put my shoes here makeup stuff um, some gifts I bought for my friends when I go back to Italy and that's pretty much it. I'm a pretty minimalistic person when I go on tour. I don't like to bring too much stuff with me. <laughs> so we also get presents from fans and there's some really awesome stuff that we get and I got this because I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan and somebody yeah, got this for me uh, like a clock and there are of course normally also the what do you call them? The pointers. But I still have to put them on there. But it's really cool. Like, we are really getting spoiled by fans. So, this is the sleeping area. This is actually where we all spend the night. Um, it's called bunks. Each, and each, uh, each band member and each crew member has his own bunk. And basically, it's uh, beds with a, with a curtain in front of them. So, I won't open this. I will open mine because I know I got nothing to hide. So, let's go over here. This is mine. This is my curtain, when you open it, this is my bed. I have my e-reader here, my glasses because I can't see without them, AirPods, charging my phone in here, and yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, uh, we don't have many bunks here, so we had one person too many uh, for the, the amount of bunks we had, so we had to improvise a little bit. So let's show you where Ludo Vico, our bass player, is at the moment. So as you can see, Ludo, our bass player, he has all his essentials very close to him. His coffee, his book, are basically all he needs. And uh, oh yeah, we haven't heard him complain at all, so I guess he's good. So let's go to my bunk now. It's um, pretty empty because I have all my stuff in my dressing room, but... I do have like my water, I always keep it here if I get thirsty during the night. Um, I have this with me, I love World of Warcraft, so I always keep it close in case I want to read um, when I go to bed after a show. And then I have these guys for my years, 
so I can sleep better and it kind of reduces the noise during the night. And that's pretty much it. And we have the toilet here. Um, no number two though, <laughs> just number one. And it's pretty um, handy actually when you travel all day or during the night to have it here. And then we have another little room here where I usually get ready in the morning whenever uh, we stop. I kind of do my makeup in here. There's a mirror and a good lighting. So I get dressed up here because there's not much privacy on the bandwagon. So this is my little space. And then we also have a shower here, but we haven't used it yet because we usually shower at the venue. And usually here we hang our stage clothes. Um, and I actually got a, a cool gift from a fan, which is this jacket. Um, he brought it in Toronto for me and it's handmade and it's so beautiful. I was like shocked he made this for me. So yeah, super cool. All right, well, that's it. Thank you so much for checking out our bus. We are delaying. And uh, make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify. We are everywhere, of course. Uh, listen to the new album, Dark Waters, and uh, let us know what you think, of course. And uh, check us out on tour next year or this year in November.